Air signs, full moon read. Gemini, Libra, Adios, Aquarius. You have something very quickly coming in at you. Something coming in quickly at you that I'm imagining that you're going to want to release with the full moon energy, boo. Some of this quick communication, this quick action. Events that will occur at great speed. Take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. That looks like a weird early in there. Early in. Because you need to balance your emotions in order to get through this. What you're going to release with the full moon energy is release your negative emotions with it. Balance your emotions by releasing them with the negative energy and follow your... Bitch, if you don't ever in your life... It, follow your third eye, your guides. Li oh, bitch. Literally. Your divine consciousness, your third eye, your guides, your dreams, the signs, the synchronicities, the things telling you. That's how you, um, oh my God, literally as I was saying that, I know I always said, literally as I was saying that the freaking chakra card of sound was staring right at me. Blue, sound, listen to the sounds, the sign, yo, literally. Listen to the sounds, the numbers, the names, the words in your mind's eye. Use that to set your personal boundaries from the yellow solar plexus chakra of self-esteem, confidence, and power. Rum energy with the sun. Have faith in this. Have faith in your guides. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in the signs. And the synchronicities because you are having an awakening. You are starting to see things from a new, different perspective. You're with this awakening. You're gonna release the old, the old ego, the old wanting and ways of concentrating a little too much on money and on materialistic things. You're gonna release that, and then upon releasing that, you're gonna have. Oh, as the two comes up right next to it, you're going to have with the eight something come back around to you. But what's going to come back around to you is this is a loving situation with a lot of emotion attached, possible Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Yo, and as doesn't have to be, but just someone or just having emotional balance and emotionally being balanced. And as I look down in my chakra deck, staring at me was the freaking heart chakra green. The heart chakra, as I'm talking about the two, the lovers, the eight coming back around to you. The two meaning love, the coupling number. Oh my God. And as I look down again at the chakra deck, it's freaking pleasure. I swear to God. Having pleasure, taking pleasure in the smaller, finer things in life. Sitting back in luxury is also your family, your nest egg, your money, your family, your root chakra, your balance, your foundation, your stability with the red, and also back to the heart with emotional balance, back to where we start, because we started with the emotion card, right, with all those weird faces, where the fuck was it, don't worry about that, or my mouth, but the point is, is that we freaking end off where we start. We also start, we also end off at your money. Your money being straight, honey. Don't worry about that. And follow your intuition to see it and see through it. Because you do have the nine of air here. You will no longer be up in your mind about this situation, my dear. Because with the six of earth following right behind it, communication of money and money will be communicated to you with the six of earth. Oh, yeah, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy as a person doesn't have to be, but just saying, baby. Oh, let me see what's at my feet. Speaking of earth signs, how unique. Ten and the three reaching a completion of the end and a cycle with this third party with a lot of passion, a lot of energy, and a lot of creativity, a lot of force, a lot of fat, for fat. Too much work, except help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress related health, health concerns. Don't worry about that. Tan, you at the completion of a cycle. Abundance. With the theory of fire, the holy trinity being balanced in your mind, body, and spirit. Abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long term plans. Like I said, quickly with the fire reaching the end and a completion to start all over again. But. Starting all over again, we go back to the freaking chakra deck and look at that sexuality and desire cross right on over one another. What the heck? So, fulfill your passions and your desires. Fulfill that fire and that light in your eye, yeah. 
Okay, and have balance in your home and a faith in your intelligence and balance out your base chakra with your home, the root red chakra. L.A.M. Lom, put your feet in the sun, the snow, the dirt, the ground, the trees, the rum. And listen to your dreams, I'm talking to you, they're going to provide you the answers. With the full moon energy. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I love you, Joseph, your girl D. Kennedy. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bring that top bell three times so I get notified. Bye.